Okay, it's recording now. Okay, so um, I've been thinking of different ways to open this up. I think I think the best way to open this up is with a question to you guys. This should be a good exercise, actually. Um, so what do you guys, and I actually want an answer from all of you. Uh, what do you guys think is the benefit of um, the campaign manager walking the client through uh, the discovery presentation as opposed to the pres presentation just being sent to the client and having them walk through it on their own? What do you guys think are the, be are the benefits of that? You, whoever wants to go first, Rob, you can go first if you want. Yeah, answering the client's questions uh, right away because uh, it's better to answer them uh, as soon as possible instead of uh, making client uh, doubt in, in anything for some time, for for a longer time, and uh, that could affect the client's decision, I think. So answering questions. Yeah. But the audit arts answers a lot of questions. What, what, what uniquely does... Uh, what unique benefits are provided when a campaign manager walks the client through as opposed to, because questions being answered that's that that happens with with the, with a technical audit with the discovery audit that happens anyway more direct so, contact i think more direct contact yeah. did you say yeah okay but that's not why is that beneficial because uh, client is talking to us and seeing our faces and uh, uh, instead of just getting an email with uh, all, all the audit documents, I think. But why is that better? Well, like, why is that beneficial for an SEO service? Ah, um, I think it's better for the client because we are building a relationship from uh, an earlier phase. Okay, so a human report. Okay, that's to, to be fair. That is one. Fine. That's not what I had in mind, but um, okay. that is that is an advantage. You're right. Uh, anyone else? I was going to say <clears throat> the fact of building the rapport as well, but Rob already mentioned that. Um, well, I'd say it's also a fact that you are kind of, you, your question is how is the beneficial in terms of SEO, right? In, in terms of the service being delivered and accepted. I guess you get to handle the objections straight away as well. Okay, so so clarifying any uncertainties that might come up. Okay, fine. I guess that is also a, a pretty good advantage. Um, anyone else or anything else, even if you want to go and give me something else, Conrad? I can add to another arguments to that, another two benefits. First of yep. all, we give uh, a client understanding of the whole picture and let them uh, make a right decision, informed decision. And second one, uh, by presenting our work and getting the client familiar with how it was done and uh, what our findings, we basically built a smooth uh, transition from the onboarding of client mm -hmm. from this process of uh, exploring his business to the full campaign okay um so 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 your first answer is is the closest i believe to to what i'm trying to get to so um and i and i and i'll follow this up with a second question which is uh would you agree would you all agree are you all in agreement that the engagement of attention from the client to the presentation is as important as the content within the presentation. Just like unmute yes or unmute no. If, okay, cool. Yeah, so you agree? You okay? You all agree? Okay, great, great. Yeah, I'm yeah, glad yeah, we're. In, yeah. I'm very, very glad we're in agreement on that. That's because that's a very important point. Um, okay, so so I, I've been I've been um, over the past few months I've been on uh, discovery calls and there's just been this niggling thought in the back of my mind that the presentations can be better but I've not I've not been able to pin down exactly why I've given you guys some feedback every now and again in terms of you know just relax keep it conversational 
um uh pretend like you're talking to a friend uh you know uh be more engaging like ask more questions make sure that they know what you're talking about blah blah, blah. but that's not really it yesterday i was on a call with one of you and i had a light bulb moment and i realized exactly why the presentations aren't as good as they can be and how they can be better so um what i've noticed that we're very very good at doing and what you guys all touched on in your answers just now is we're very very good at explaining what it is that we found what the issue is and listing it and showing and explaining that to the client we're very good at the what very very good um however the the why and the how is missing so i'll put it this way let's let's say you wanted to go to an expert and wanted to improve your life right and you had two experts one expert gave you just a sheet and said and walked you through the sheet and just said okay uh here's what you need to do uh wake up at this time brush your teeth uh have a shower uh go to work make sure you uh work diligently um after work go to the gym uh have meals throughout and then go to bed at this time and then gave you that that is how you need to improve it i'm walking you through here's here are the steps here's all the information that you need to know okay but then you went to another expert and then the other expert said okay look first thing of the day you need to make sure that you are you know feeling good that when you talk to people as well your breath is is doesn't stink it smells good that you're hygienic so brush your teeth that's the first and foremost get that out of the way um you know you want to you want to make sure that you do something meaningful you produce something for yourself for your family you know so going to work is a great way of creating do you know what i mean like that person walks you through, oh you know and and you want to make sure you're in good physical shape you're in good health you know you want to make sure that you have good mental and physical health so you live for longer and you live a higher quality life so you're able to look after your kids your grandkids and play with your grandkids and, and so on and so on so, you know, staying in good physical health, going to the gym is a good way to do that. Just an hour or so in the gym every day, blah, blah, blah. Like they actually take you through the why, right? So if someone says, okay, you want this, right? And you say, yeah, yeah, so this is what you want, blah, blah, blah. You're the one who will then start chasing the what. You will then start asking questions as to, okay, but what do I need to do? Okay, so, so what's the next steps? Okay, so how do I do that then? What, what, do, I, what, do, I, what do I do? Okay, so you brush your teeth at this time. You go to work at this time, you go to the gym at this time, here's what you need to do. You're chasing the what because you're engaged because they've sold you the why. Yeah? So, so when we're presenting the what on its own and not giving the why, not giving the how, the client, I can almost see on the call when they've got the video on, their eyes are glazing over because, and they're zoning out. I can see that because they're not, it's like, why should I follow these? Like, what, why is this so important? Why should I care? And if you tell them the why first, and then they ask you questions, okay, okay, so what, how are you going to solve it? The how? Okay, okay. So what, what, what is the problem? You know, how they take it to the next step, the outer rings. I don't know who, how many of you guys are familiar with um, Simon Sinek. Uh, he did like a TED talk a while ago, like years ago. And then he did like um, recent podcast with with a few big big names and he's he's very good at like summarizing the, you know how how big companies market so successfully like apple for example they start with a why they go to the how and they go to the what if they even go to the what so they say here's why you want you know an ipad or an iphone right the the why okay you want to connect blah blah, blah. here's here's how you know, we've we've put in these features and it has this capability and it has blah, 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 blah. And here's what it is. It's a phone. It's an iPad. I mean, I don't even need to tell you what it is. It's just that, that we can find that out later. You can kind of make your order and you can find out what it is when you make your order. You know what I mean? Similar thing. because And that works with people's deep primal instincts. You, you're, you'd be surprised with how much control your emotion has with your decision making, even with the most stoic people. So, um, I'll give you an example in the presentation, the, the the discovery presentation. We could be flying through Anchor Text distribution, right? 
and we can be talking about, okay, all right, here's your anchor text distribution. Uh, you seem to have a lot of generic anchor, anchor text, uh, which is good, and you have um, very little keyword rich anchor text. So that that's very good for us, and uh, um, you know it means we can do more stuff. And then you move on. That is way less effective than saying, okay, look, um, with building authority and relevance to a site, when when you build relevance to a keyword. Usually, you only have the on-site content and internal linking that you can do, that you can use to do it, right? Um, usually, clients use up their maximum 10% allowance of keyword-rich anchor text, so we don't have much, much leeway. With you, we have a very unique position where we have that, that flex room, we have that 10% allowance, and what that allows us to do is it allows us to um, build re not only authority and ranking power through powerful links that we would build, but we could actually build extra relevance to keywords that we can insert into the anchor text. And we can we can make your ranking page, even if it doesn't have much content on it, relevant to this keyword that we've linked because of the anchor text from this external link. And then oh, how, are you, how are you gonna do that? Well, you know, and what is, okay, well, how are we gonna do that? We're gonna insert and the article is gonna be relevant to this or blah, blah, blah. text is gonna be this and it's gonna point to this and it's gonna add to this. Okay, so what, okay, well, and the link is gonna, you know, so then, it, and then it's like, it's not just here's your anchor text distribution and here's what we're gonna, they actually, it unlocks a chain of thinking in their brain where it's like, there's so much potential here. Even if it's like, I could take a small point within the presentation, expand on it in that way, where I can make them unlock their potential, the potential of, of, of what this can be. And even though it's like one of the lowest priority points, at the end of the presentation, they're, they're like, oh, you know, I really like the idea with the anchor text distribution. That's, you know, that's gonna be really, really good. I think we should definitely work on that. That's like all they remember because the why resonated with them first and foremost, right? Um, yeah, so I mean, is, is everyone with me so far? What does everyone think about that so far? And I have a comment here. Yes, please. I mean, uh, don't we do it already? Sorry? Don't we do it already, what you just described? Some of you do. I mean, if I some of you do, recall, for sure. If I was to recall my last, uh, my last disco, Mm -hmm. with Elamila and you were there with me I'm sure we I, I'm I, as I think about it right now I'm sure this is the way I was trying to lead that presentation I'm with, sure it is with explaining um, why we want to do uh, this and this in order good. to achieve this and this yeah good uh, so here's the thing right so what well, your point is very important actually this is a very very um there's actually a, I'm glad you mentioned this because this is this is something else I was going to mention but I f almost forgot to mention it it's kind of like you go to a someone who is very, um, you know, very successful, very in shape, and you know, doing very well with their life, right? And um, they don't really, they, they haven't been given instructions as to why, like, what kind of regimen to follow, but they just have a feeling they they're naturally very in tune with what they should do, right? And then you you give them this book that's like, you know. This is a best-selling book, and it, it, it gives people direct instructions as to how they can get their life in order, blah, 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 right? And they're like, well, I've, I've kind of been doing this already, but I've not seen it broken down in, in like, point by point like this. I've not seen a theory behind it. I've kind of, this, is this, this explains things I've just been kind of doing without thinking it, right? So people who are already a natural at presenting, which most people aren't, let's be honest. Most people aren't a natural at presenting. It, it, it's either... With a lot of people, they just they they just have it, right? They just have that skill. But with people who who have it, even people who have it, it's good for them to be reaffirmed with a theory behind why they are so successful with their approach, right? Knowing that it starts with the why, it goes to the how, and goes to the what. It's like, oh, I, I kind of been doing that already, but I didn't really notice it. But this reaffirms it. But then for the rest of the people, the majority of people. It's like, okay, well, this is a system I can follow to actually make me better at presenting. Even if I'm not a natural, I'm naturally, you know, more someone who dives into data and that kind of stuff and deciphers information and problem solves. It's a completely different type of brain to someone who is presenting and resonates with humans and emotion and stuff like that. 
so it's it's a it's a set of instructions, I suppose, or just a general guideline to make the masses, the the general public, or or, or all campaign managers in this example, um, kind of more uniform and more aligned in terms of the presentation quality. If you all understand the theory as to how points should be presented, instead of just going through the what, you you go with the why. Why is this impactful? So so. Why is this element important for the client site? Okay, and then how? How can it affect the client site if it's neglected or fixed? That's really powerful. Like, just the how, just the how as well. Like, do you often that's missed out the why and the how, but the how is like, here's the potential behind what will happen if we fix this thing, and here's what can happen if we don't. Like, this is a very critical point that I'm presenting to you right now because here are the consequences. And then you say the what, 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 what is the issue exactly and what is our solution? Again, that's something that we're very good at doing, the what. But yeah, I get your point. Like, um, there are a few of you, I, I, I agree. There are a few of you in here and I, I don't want to single people out. I don't want to name names with who's really good and who, you know. But like, you know, you've all got your skill sets. Um, but I, I believe that with the right theory, you can all be better presenters of, of, the, of the discovery audit. Um, you know, with with knowing the backbone, you know, the the framework of how to present, and I think, th th and this is very simple. Like this is, like I said, it's going to take probably fifteen to to thirty minutes to to explain this to you. But I thought I'd I'd have a call and explain it because um, it's a very important point. I'd like you all to take it very seriously because this is something that will most likely increase the upsell rate, increase the retention rate. Not just client retention, but uh, attention retention. Um, so yeah, it's a very simple point, but um, I hope I hope I hope everyone's on the same page. We are. Yeah. Um, any other questions, comments, concerns? I just have one comment and thank you so much, Raf. And I really love the way of presenting. It was rather a conversation than just you showing the slides. So it's really yeah. good. I, you know, sometimes when we have lots of slides, when we're listening, <clears throat> I think it's so much better. And uh, maybe uh, I don't know who's in charge of the discovery SOP. Uh, it's also shown what needs to be there, but also maybe we could add um, some. Uh, guidelines to when AM is presenting the meeting, uh, when you present, uh, prepare why, what and how, something like that. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Uh, yeah, go on, uh, Sasha. I think maybe it's a crazy idea, but maybe we should ask you to prepare some case study, for example, something like for SUS Academy, where you will just present your way of how we should do these co-presentations. Just, you know, to show us like we are as a client. I think it will be interesting. Like a walkthrough. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I have a good, I have a good example of something like, I think it, the more we simplify this, the easier it is to uh, apply. So um, there was a, a discovery call that I was on yesterday with someone and um, the point of anchor text came up and I think if we clip and edit edit out that clip where the CM goes through the anchor text distribution slide and moves on to the next slide, and I'm like, well, hang on a second. I think it's important that we understand why this is so important, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I think, because you can see, because they were both, both ladies were on the call, both the, cl the client, two ladies were on the call, and you can see their, their, their facial expression and body language shifted entirely when I, when I mentioned this and when I started talking about the why and the how. So I think just that clip alone would be good as a as a case study, um, as a demonstration, um, you know, as to, as to how it can be applied and you know why it's so powerful. What do you think? As opposed yeah. to just kind of you know, do you know what I mean? It's a way more simple way to to see what I mean. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. If you would have half an hour on one of the Fridays to jump on a call with us and just give us an, uh, that example and talk about it and why do you believe it's so powerful, which I agree, of yeah. course. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, 
I, it, but the principle of it, I just wanted to drive it home today. I understand we can create SOPs and we can create protocols and stuff like that. But just like in the back of your mind when you're presenting, because this is something that you could do with anything. I can look at, I can, I can, uh, you know, talk about this. I, I don't need an SOP for this. Like I can say, you know, these are dog treats. You know, they're very nutritious, but, uh, but you know, why, am, why do I have the dog treats? Well, sometimes the dog goes kind of crazy and he gets a bit excited and he loses, loses sight of what, what, what good behavior is. And I, and I need to kind of remind him and capture his attention, his attention. And it's good for keeping him as a good boy, uh, keeping him from doing naughty things. And I say, hey, come here. Yeah, he listens to me as soon as he can see that I've got a treat. You know, so explaining the why and then the how and then the what. This is, oh, and it's a what? It's a dog treat. That's the what. You know, the, the, the how is, well, it smells good and it tastes good. And the why is, well, it captures, it's good to, to have a good behaved dog, you know, um, you know, the, that's the why. And you can do it with anything. Like this is a, this isn't something that you can just like, I would honestly, I would highly recommend that you apply this to just life in general, right? When you're speaking to someone like a family member or, or a friend and you're getting them to come to a, to a party or an event or, you know, or, or you want them to try something new or, you have this new, uh, I don't know, food that you've been eating. Or, well, it could be anything, right? You, just try this. Generally, try this in your life. Tr start with the why. Go to the how. And then ex explain what it is. Like, try to understand why this person would actually care. Like, like this presentation to you guys, right? Before you jumped on. I had to think about why you should care. Why should you guys care to listen to me talk about this? Why, why, why is this even important for you to take in? Well, um, it'll improve your retention rates of clients. It'll, it'll improve your upsell rates of clients as well. That'll make you look good. Imagine, imagine you, you, after this call, you apply this and, you're, and the amount of upsells that you do and the amount of clients that you keep on, you know, your average ret client retention goes up from like eight months to 16 months. And imagine your upsell rate goes goes up from, you know, an average of keeping uh, of like plus five hundred dollars or plus a thousand dollars to plus three thousand dollars average upsell rate upsell um, amount. Imagine that. Imagine how how much uh, more powerful you'd be in in your position. You know, um, so this is very beneficial for you to take this kind of information and to make you a better presenter because. You're all very good ca campaign managers. That's that's a given, uh, one hundred percent. I you, you this is we're now at a point, we're a great point uh, of the company where every campaign manager is brilliant at ca managing campaigns. Like you know, so but the presentation can make a huge difference to your performance. You know. Um. So so what you know before I brought you brought you on here, I explained the why. Why should you care? I explained it to you. Well, you know, this is this will improve your attention rates, blah blah blah. And then the how and the what, you know, is is being delivered on this call. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so, yeah. My just, have a question. Yeah, I have. A, I just wanted to like to summarize because I think that we are all on the same page that you know, like our projects, our campaigns are. Uh, like we're different from other agency because our projects, our audits are personalized, but also we should really pay attention to each point uh, from from audit that they should be all personalized. And this is what you just said, you know, explain the reason like why this is so impactful and then also follow with the actions, like how they can solve it, so how, how they can solve the issue. So like each of these points, like if we talk about, I don't know, content plan or technical issues, they should all have explanation not only you know just going through the points and you know just saying this and that should be fixed so yes. correct yeah correct How yeah yeah explaining why and and i'll actually i'll round i'll finalize this um with with one one final point uh which is to answer my question that i asked at the beginning which was um you know what is the point of having a what's the benefit of having a campaign manager as opposed to just sending the the presentation directly to the client well um what is the point of having a specialist read and decipher data from a tool as opposed to just having paying for a tool? Well, the human aspect, the expert aspect is the process of deciphering why this data is important and how it can impact your site. Because the tool can just tell you what it is. 
the, the tool can tell you what your anchor text distribution is. The tool can tell you your referring domains. It can tell you, um, you know, the the 404 errors. It can tell you the broken links. The tool can tell you all of that kind of stuff, right? So, so what's the point of having an expert? The expert deciphers the why and the how. That's why. That's 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 the benefit, and it's a huge benefit. It's a massive benefit. Because once you understand the why and the how, you understand how to prioritize it in your brain. That's why the why and the how is so important. Because you could, you, there's, we're in, a, we're in an age where we are overloaded with information. We're overloaded with data. How do we decipher what data is more important than the other? How do we, how do we decipher what data impacts us and our business and our lives more than other data? That's where the experts come in. That's where you guys come in. Here's why this particular piece of data that I'm presenting to you right now is important. Here's how it affects your site. And then here's what it is. I mean, the what, here's what the data is. And that, the, what, what the data is, I can get that from a tool. But I'm the ex as the expert, I'm the expert. I'm telling you, here's the priority of, here's how you can prioritize this piece of information in your brain. You know? So that's the answer to my question, my, my first question that I asked at the beginning of this presentation. Yeah, hopefully you guys agree with the answer. Yeah, that was a fair point. Okay. okay, so I think that's that's basically everything that I wanted to say. Um, is, is like, is there are there any uncertainties? Anything like, it's it's a very simple principle, but once you, it's like once you see something, you can't unsee it. Once you have the lens of something, it, you can actually this is going to cross over into your weekend. Like you're going to see, you're going to work, you're going to start to like convince your mom or your brother to do things that, that you've never been able to convince them to do before. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, if anyone has, I understand you guys are all busy. Um, so if no one has any more questions, um, we can all crack on. Everyone good? All good. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Probably we just need to, to digest it a little bit and, and process all those things from our, through our mind. But yeah, thank you for the, all these very... Yeah, My pleasure. Just just think why, how, what. That's it. Why, how, what. That's it. I um, just have one question. Uh, yep. I was thinking, do you think Graph we should adjust somehow our discovery audits uh, to like proceed with that uh, kind of presentation approach? Or are the audits good enough and we should just uh, improve our presentation approach? That's a very good question. I think for the short, in the long term, I agree with you. I think that we need to, um, even the presentation itself should be shifted in a way where it resonates with the why and the how, and then the what. Um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of just easy to just like for the for the for the client to glance through those that process um, visually. However, for now, for short term, because this needs to be applied immediately with the next mm -hmm. discovery call that you guys do um, for the short term. It's good for you guys to just have this theory in the back of your mind when you're presenting any point. And like I said, I can just, I don't need a, you know, these dog bist gifts to change for me to present the why, the how, and the what. Um, I, I, I've kind of got the theory in the back of my mind. So I just, um, that's how I deliver it. Um, mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so that's, so short term, mm -hmm. you guys just, just present the same stuff that's in the presentation, but in the way where you, res you know, you, you, deliver it in this way that resonates and then long term maybe we can look at changing you know that that's for you guys to speak to um i don't know andrew or d or someone about in terms of shifting how the templates are laid out and everything like that um mm -hmm. but yeah it's a good question okay thank you Ralph. and i pre by the way i appreciate all you guys jumping on so short notice i you know yesterday evening for you guys uh i sent the calendar invites and you guys are all here today so i really really appreciate the short turnaround I know it's very short notice, so I um, appreciate you all jumping on. Lovely. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I won't take up any more of your time. Yeah. Uh, have thanks, a good Raph. weekend. I'll speak to you guys soon. Thank yeah. you. Bye, guys. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye.